Hello and welcome back everybody to another YouTube video. In today's video I will explain and solve problem set 2, vanity plates. In this problem the user will be prompted for a vanity plate and we want to check if it meets all the requirements. Let's start with copying the code given in the problem. The main function is ready. So let's make our is valid function which will return true or false. There are four requirements to check. Three of them can be done easily in one if statement using some predefined functions and methods. Let's start with checking on the length. So as mentioned, vanity plates may contain a maximum of six characters and a minimum of two characters. So let's use the length function to do so. So that is one done out of four. That's the easiest one. Another condition is all vanity plates must start with at least two letters. See, so we want to check if the first two characters in our string is letters. We can do that using slice and uh, is alpha method. So let's add another condition to our if statement. So 0 indicates the start and 2 indicates the end, but uh, not including 2. So this should return the characters at index 0 and 1. After getting the first two characters, let's use the isAlpha method to check if, the, if they are letters. So is alpha method returns true if the string consists of alphabetic characters and false otherwise. Okay, so two conditions done and two remaining. The third one is no periods, spaces or punctuation marks are allowed. So just alphabetic characters and numbers are allowed. Is a num is another method like is alpha that checks if a string contains only alphabetic characters or numbers. So let's add another condition that indicates that is our string only contains alphanumeric characters. Before getting into the last condition, let's try those first. So if these three conditions are true, we want to return false. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If, if these three conditions are true, we want to return true. Otherwise, we return false. Let's run the program and try hello, for example. This should be valid. Now, why this is invalid? Yeah, okay, I noticed what's the problem. I messed up here. This should be lower than or equal to 6. So let's run the program again. And try hello. Yeah, this is valid. So let's try hello. After running the program, hello world. This should be invalid because we exceeded 6 characters. Let's try. Yeah, this is invalid. Let's try another one. H34, which doesn't start with two letters. So this should be also invalid. Okay, great. Let's try another one. Hello with a comma. In between. This should be invalid because there is a comma and we indicated that the string contains only alphabetic alphabetic and numeric characters 
now that our three conditions are working let's go ahead and make the fourth one and complete our program for this one numbers cannot be used in the middle of a plate they must come at the end and the first number used cannot be zero so I think we can check if the numbers are at the end by first knowing where does the first digit appear in a string then check if the characters that start with the index of the first digit to the end of the string are all characters so to find the first number let's use a for loop for character in our string if that character is digit we won't store the index of it in a variable let's call it index of the character then let's use another if statement to check if the characters from index to the end is digits yeah and also this character cannot be equal to zero so let's add this condition too Okay, let's then return true otherwise let's return false now I think this should be enough so let's try our program with the examples given let's run the program let's clear our terminal first run the program Okay, first example is CS15. This should be valid. Okay, let's try the second one CS05. This should be invalid because numbers are starting with 0. This is valid. Let's see why. Okay, the reason this is valid because here we are comparing between a character that's a string and an integer so that will not work so we either force this to be integer or we could have uh, put this in a double quotes or a single quote let's try again cs05 now that's working so our third example is cs50p should also be invalid because uh, the numbers are not at the end of the of the string okay great let's try i think yeah no yeah p pi 3.14 yeah yeah this should be invalid of course because there is a a period okay invalid and our last example is out at time this also should be invalid because we exceeded six characters yeah okay great everything is working this problem could be solved using a library called re shorthand for regular expressions i would recommend implementing the problem using that library or just any different approach than mine if you copy my code that's cheating i'm just showing you how to think of a problem that's the end of today's video thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and see you next time